Bad, 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 bad. See that up there? That's a leak, a stain in the ceiling. It's also coming through that light. Now, what's so bad about a little leak? Sometimes nothing, but in this situation, it's really, really bad news for this owner. So imagine you own a building and you lease it out, you collect rent, and then your renter texts you and say, hey, I got a leak. So then you call your roofer and say, hey, we got a leak in our building, can we go fix it? I come out, and this is the building we were in, the leak is coming in this valley up there, two places. What's the trouble? It's not repairable, the whole roof has to be replaced. That is what is bad news. So instead of saying like a $400 repair and you're on your way, it's like, who knows, uh, eight to $10,000 to get a brand new roof. Nobody wants to get blindsided by that information. Now the real story that I'm getting at here is this roof has two layers of shingles on it. So if, if we had a leak up there right now and it was one layer of shingles, I'd be able to diagnose where the leak is coming from, replace that section of shingles, maybe fix one shingle or one nail or something, whatever's causing the leak, give it a warranty and we're all good. But with two layers, water can be getting in up there or over there and then wicking between, in between the two layers of shingles and then coming to the valley and then coming through the roof. So the only way I'd feel comfortable repairing this is if I do the whole entire section, both facets of the roof. That's the only sure way to not just throw money at it and guess. And I don't wanna guess with my customer's money, and they don't either. You don't wanna take your car to the mechanic and the mechanic says, hey, I think it's your engine, and replace your engine when it was maybe your water pump. So you need to be sure about what the problem is so that you can fix it and not waste money. Unfortunately, uh, with two layers, you can't ever really know, so you just have to be safe and replace larger sections to make sure that you're safe. Um, so when you put a second layer of roof on, one factor that goes into, say, the, the overall cost of a roof is the repairability of that product. So one layer of roofing, of asphalt roofing, is much more repairable than two layers. Two layers of roofing is pretty much not repairable at all. So you put it on one time, and as soon as you get a leak, it's done. If you put on one layer of asphalt shingles and you get a leak, you should be able to fix it within reason most of the time, pretty easily. It's a lot easier to figure out where the water's coming from. So I don't know exactly how old this roof is, but it's done. One leak and it's over. So keep that in mind when you think about putting a second layer of shingles on, there are hidden costs besides what you actually pay for up front, and that is repairability. Have a good one.